This is a Chemistry 12 review video for electrolytic cells and uh, electrochemical cells. Just to compare the two, uh, two, a quick cheat sheet in case you're having problems with any of the uh, textbook questions or the questions from class. In terms of spontaneity, uh, an electrochemical cell will happen spontaneously. You don't have to put in any energy. An electrolytic cell, you have to apply a battery or some source of DC power. Cell voltage in an electrochemical cell is positive, where it is negative in an electrolytic cell. On your table of reduction potentials, if you circle the reactants, you should get a downhill reaction. This helps you remember that spontaneous things like to roll downhill. If you search go the reactants and electrolytic cell on the uh, table, it should go uphill, which helps remember that it is uh, nothing likes to go up a steep hill without putting energy into it. The cathode in electrochemical cell is positive, so cathodes are positive, um, and anodes are negative in an electrochemical cell. However, these are reversed in an electrolytic cell. Electrolytic cell, the cathode is negative and the anode is positive. Electron flow is anode to cathode in all cells. It doesn't matter if you're electrochemical or electrolytic. In electrolytic, we pump the electrons into the anode. In electrochemical, um, the anodes uh, are being sucked out of it. Electron flow, the anode goes to cathode. The anode and cathode each have their own mnemonics that are the same. Leoa and Gerk. Loss of electrons, oxidation, anode. Gain of electrons, reduction, cathode. That does not change. Uh, whether you're an electrochemical or electrolytic cell, that is always the same and forms the basis for electrochemistry. Ion flow is also the same, same in both cells. Anions, or negative ions, go to the anode. Cations, or positive ions, go to the cathode. The overall structure of each cell is different. Uh, in an electrochemical cell, you have a salt bridge, wire and voltmeter. Uh, we've separated the half reactions so that we can get them to react slowly and through a wire and a salt bridge. In an electrolytic cell, because it requires energy, we don't have to keep the two half reactions separately. They're not going to happen on their own. We have to provide energy. So the main difference is that it occurs in one solution, and you have a power source. This is the electrochemistry comparison chart. Review video for Chemistry 12. <laughs>